Hello YouTube, Scratch about 1996 again, and don't worry, I'm still alive. <laughs> nah, I said that because there's not been a video in like a week or so. But the reason being is because my keyboard and mouse kind of crapped out. <laughs> so I got a new one. Uh, it just came yesterday, and I was just breaking it in simply, getting used to it. And I have still been working on this with, with the the keyboard that I had. The keyboard that I had was like a year old and that's how long it was supposed to last for so it lasted as long as it was supposed to. But uh, I got a new one, new keyboard and mouse. My mouse is also being retarded too. Um, the left click or the right click wasn't working like at all. Like rarely worked. <laughs> so that was a, a real problem especially with placing torches like that. Because I've been lighting stuff up. But anyways, um, in this episode I would like to, first of all, get this border gone on camera. Because I said I was going to. And I still haven't done this yet. I've been AFKing at the witch farm, as usual. And I have figured something out. <laughs> You're going to laugh at this. Oh man. Down, down at the collection point, I have a dispenser. And when that dispenser has an item in it, it automatically dispenses because I have a comparator next to it. So whenever there's something in that item, or not that item, in that dispenser, it will send out a signal which is turning on the dispenser, which shoots out the item so the comparator shuts off when there's nothing in it. Simple as that. And the, the clock thing just stopped working. It just stopped. It just derped. It just completely stopped. I think that may have something to do with the new update. I don't know, maybe when signals are going and you leave the chunk, they freeze up or something. I don't know. I'm just trying to come up with some logical explanation for it. Because I honestly have no idea what happened. The signal just turned itself on completely. And there's really no explanation for it. Actually, I want to place a block right here. Yeah, there we go. With this, um, with this new keyboard and mouse, by the way, um, I don't know if this is something new in Minecraft, because I'm on 1.6.4, and the keyboard and mouse seems kind of loud for my likings. But it's alright. It's better than nothing, definitely. It's a lot better than what I had. <laughs> but, um... The things are loud and spacebar. Spacebar doesn't always work reliably. And that was one of the reasons I got a new keyboard. Unless this is a new thing with update uh, 1.6.4 where you can't just hold it down sometimes. I don't know. I personally think it's the keyboard. Oh, what do you have? He has strength. Screw you, spider. Oh, man. What? <laughs> There's three zombie villagers. When do you ever come across three zombie villagers in a Congo line? Die! <laughs> oh man, this is funny. The next thing that I'd plan to get is a new mic. Yes, a new mic. Main reason a new mic is because I am aware of that this mic makes my voice sound funny. <laughs> I, it makes my voice sound higher and more squeaky than it actually is. And it doesn't come out perfectly how I would like it. And, not only that, you can hear all my clicking for my mouse and my keyboard. It's really loud. Since when? Oh, okay. I was going to say, since when could you hit H to pop up the chat? I guess that was just a thing I did by accident. So yeah, I'm gonna clear this out and make it have some some fun with the water. Yeah. Oh man, I cannot wait to show you how much caves and such I lit up. Oh look an Enderman. Hey brother. <laughs> oh man. These Ender butts. These Ender butts are back. Okay, gotta, gotta clear this out. This is kind of a boring thing right now, I gotta say. And I have no sounds on, I just realized that. Hold on, give me a second. I'll be right back. I'm going to clear this ring out and turn my sound back on. Oh my god, the zombies are all over the place. 
Run! Ah! There's so many of them. They're spawning right in front of me. Holy crap. Oh no, they're behind me! Oh, the babies! No, not the baby zombies! Okay, die, Skelly. This all started with like two zombies and a skeleton. Two zombies and a skeleton equals a whole army of zombies. <laughs> Look at them. Uh -huh. Can't get me that good, jerks. <laughs> oh man, this is funny. Bam. There we go. Oh, is that gold? Respiration, just respiration. Oh, kind of sucks. Oh man, look at all this XP though. So much of it. There we go. Stop spawning here, jerk. Cut it out. All right. Um, let me just get back to work here. All right, so I was coming over here. The space bar problem. It's it's an issue. <laughs> it's an issue, and it's it's annoying. All right. So what I wanted to do was add a block right here. You'll see why. You'll you'll see why in just a second. <laughs> All right. I still need to remove the rest of this crap. This is crap, by the way. This is crap. It's not blocks. It's crap. Just keep that in mind. I've been caving a lot, by the way. Just a lot. A lot, a lot of caving. And um, one thing that I wanted to mention is... You're probably wondering why I've been putting a video up every, every week instead of every three days like I used to. Well, school started. Started like a month or two ago. Well, I guess it's about two months ago because... October it's just about started so yeah no about a month ago I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say I'm being retarded yep I'm totally in school guys just remember that stay in school kids or you might end up stupid like me no I'm just kidding <laughs> anyways school started um, <laughs> a month ago practically and I haven't simply had enough time to do that no no I wanted to Darn it. Darn it, man. The reason I had the blocks there is because I wanted to break the blocks and get chased by the water. But I guess, I guess my dreams aren't coming true today. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, I haven't had as much time to record as opposed to summer. And that's not the main thing. The main thing is... I mean, I could scrape together the time to record... Uh, out of some way, but the main thing is, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the majority of the projects I've been working on on Minecraft are really big projects. So that's, that's kind of an issue. Like the Wither Skelly Farm, take that for example, that's the biggest project in the game as of now. So yeah. Oh, I don't want to have that on my bar. Alright, torches. This mouse clicking is so loud. Definitely need to figure something out with my mic. Alright, uh, let's just get everything correct. Um, oh, I want to have some blocks on me. Alright, let me show you something. Oh yeah, uh, first of all, I want to show you. Okay, ready for your socks to be blown away. <laughs> Or whatever. It sucks to be blown off, I think is the phrase. Anyway, screw it. Uh, look at this. This is just from not even a whole night of AFK. I did sleep last night. Believe me or not, I, I actually did sleep. <laughs> but, holy crap, this thing is so much more efficient. And now that I'm actually collecting the things, instead of it just being derpy down there. Here, I'll show you what I fixed. Except the clock is always running, so, yeah. And the reason that I have all these hoppers and this clock... Oh, let me turn that down. Um, there. Forgot I'm not in the new update. There we go. 
Alright, uh, the reason that I have this dispenser here is so... Okay, see? There we go. But the reason the dispenser's here is because under all these slabs right here... Not half slabs, they're slabs. Just keep that in mind. Everyone always calls them half slabs. But anyways, these slabs all have hoppers underneath it, and those hoppers lead into this one dispenser. I actually didn't think that this one dispenser would be able to keep up, but it seems like it can. You don't get witches that fast, but... It might be a lot faster once this is at max efficiency, which is what I'm planning to do with lighting up all the caves. So don't worry, I am going to do all this off camera. You don't have to suffer through the torching, because I personally really hate torching a cave so much. Especially if it's a cave with multiple ravines, that's even more of a pain. But anyways, oh, there we go. Four at once, four witches. You saw it. The reason that I have all these hoppers underneath is because um, it makes it more efficient because they'll immediately fall to death other than uh, fall a little, go into a water stream, and then group up, and then fall. But I probably am going to do that in the future because it's just a lot easier. I'm going to do the design. I'm pretty sure it's Doc M77's design. Correct me if I'm wrong. But he has like uh, a two wide chute, like from, I think it's from right here to that side, to that side, these two blocks. And it's just a two wide chute, and at the bottom there's a trip wire, so right before they fall there's um, trap, trap doors, yeah trap doors, and they switch on, so they open and then it kills them and then once they're dead they the stuff falls so they close close or open hmm. so they close so the stuff can fall so I think you get the idea and then there's a water stream underneath it and then it pushes through something like this but without the whole uh, dispenser and hopper situation the reason I did this dispenser and hopper situation is because I mean so you could have more area for them to fall, like so they'll immediately fall. But um, another thing is so the items don't have a chance of despawning because it also resets their despawn timer. Even though there's no way it takes five minutes, but I don't know, there's, there's a possibility. And there's also one more thing that I have to do, which is right here. This needs updated. Uh, there is a new design for this, which... Uh, Doc explained in his video. I think he said it was um, Panda Panda's design. That's the user of the, like the one member of the JL Zip Crowd server. But um, I'm pretty sure it was him. Might be a different guy. Correct me if I'm wrong yet again. But um, basically, you have you have this stream. Now, let me try to let me try to block example this. I do this all the time. <laughs> I make block examples. Okay, pretend that this dirt is the stream. What you want to do is you want to have the dirt like you want to have the dirt go into a stream then you want to have it go this way and at that way you want to have it go down but you also want to have like that so it, it straightens it aligns with the wall if that's the best way of explaining it. You want to have it on the side of the wall. You don't want to have it directly in the middle because the way that the new thing works is... Oh, I do have fence gates on me. Conveniently. But the way that the new elevator works is... Okay, now we want to have the water stream go here. So it goes like this, that... Actually, let me, let me put dirt here. Okay, so pretend just pretend that the dirt is water, except this one right here. That's a wall. This this is wall right here. This dirt is wall. So this goes down this way, and then it hits this wall, aligns with it, and you're going to want to have it go straight. Not, not sideways. So you're going to want to have it go straight like that. So it's on this side of the wall right here. And you're going to have a fence here and here. That's all you need. And blocks around these fences like that. I don't know if you could mimic this. No, you can't. But basically, the way that that works is uh, you're going to have your water running into this fence. 
like that. And it's just going to make the items go up. So you don't need this whole piston thing and such, so yeah. I am going to replace that eventually, but not anytime soon. I'm going to do it off camera, unless... I don't know, I might do it on camera. It's not that hard to figure out, like, off of what I explained, unless I explained it that bad. <laughs> but basically what I need to do is I need to have this water stream, I need to have it turn left or right at some of these points, and uh, go straight into a fence post. So that's, that's basically it. But I'm not going to do that now, because this whole thing down here, this, this is just temporary. I'm going to have the, the official collection point at a different spot. Let me just go up here. Can I ender pearl up? There we go. The official collection point is going to be about right here. Like this is this is about where it's going to be instead of right there. This this whole thing right here is just temporary. Keep that in mind. It's not permanent. It's, that's what I thought at the start of when I was making this too, is it's not permanent. Just temporary. But I have cleared out the perimeter of the witch hut. So you can see no land mass in between here. Um, the reason that I did that is so mobs cannot spawn at all. So yeah, makes it maximum efficiency. And I didn't light it instead because... I mean, sometimes you torch something, like, let's say that this... Oh, I can't place them up here. God darn it! Okay, let's say that this is a torch. It only goes so far, and you estimate, like, with your eyes how far it can go, and let's say you place one right there. Well, there might be a block, like, right here that misses. So, yeah, that's, that's that, in a nutshell. And the way that I did the whole perimeter thing is... I didn't do it off of that part of the witch hut where I measured the 150 blocks out in each direction no I did it off of this right here so 28 blocks from the witch hut and then the 150 block perimeter goes out so that way I could be really at any angle of the witch hut and not have to worry about it and it also makes it so it's maximum efficiency it's really really overkill you do not need to do this just keep that in mind. Um, I am thinking of going a little bit further on this side because the building is going to probably extend out to about right there, so it's going to be a little less efficient. And I still do have a lot of cave lighting to do. Let me show you. It's like about right over here. There's there's a lot that needs to be done. Here, let me just go under right here. I picked the wrong spot, didn't I? All right. There we go. And in case you don't know, you can make a simple, really, really simple x-ray machine by just two fence posts, two redstone blocks, bam. You could use glowstone too. But um, as you can see, we have, have stuff right here. Like, and he's lighted, like right there. Lit, not lighted. I, I do speak English, keep that in mind. But um... <laughs> This right here needs lit, that needs lit, uh, that over there needs lit, and uh, that ravine needs lit a little bit better. I just went torch spam crazy. Right there needs lit there. But over underneath the witch hut is practically all lit up. Underneath us needs lit a little bit too. Now let me turn this around so you can see better. Alright, there we go. And just before anyone says anything, these x-ray machines, nobody really calls them cheaty because they're still in the game. They would have been taken out a long time ago if, if it's really that big of a deal. So you could use an x-ray machine like this, but no x-ray mod. Just, just want to clear that. X-ray machines are allowed and included as vanilla. Just keep that in mind. It's not cheaty unless... Unless you are a hardcore, no cheaty guy, but still, it's it's not included as cheaty because it's still in the game, and it's been in the game since a long time. So just keep that in mind. But anyways, right there needs lit. Right there, there, there. There's caves over there that need lit. 
those ones aren't too big of a deal because it's further away so I might not even have to go that far like about right there is probably the maximum distance so not too much further uh, yeah it's basically it's basically the gist of what needs lit so yeah let me let me be right back and we can figure something out to do for this episode besides talking about witch huts <laughs> oh man I should have done this a long time ago to be honest I haven't worked on the wither farm by the way like not really much at all every once in a while I do put down slabs and one of the reasons why I did do the whole perimeter thing uh, because I needed cobble <laughs> and because I also needed glowstone and such like crazy this gunpowder is just the best though that's that's one of the best reasons you could have for doing a witch farm is the gunpowder you need gunpowder like crazy like look at this this is already like four and a half stacks of gunpowder for free that's just be the best that's just the best thing but anyways I'll be right back alright I am back and I have figured something out to do yeah <laughs> this is actually one thing that I wanted to do for a while now but I haven't gotten to it because I haven't gotten to recording something I have finished finished cropping that island planting I planted some stuff on it I have been working on these islands a little bit not very much but anyways um remember this old this old friend Mr. Rapture Squid yeah we're gonna have something really fun to, to do if you look at my inventory you see I have a name tag <laughs> what does that name tag say I don't know it says Rapture Squid now I have a little area prepared here so let me just let me just build it I already pre-built this to make sure what I want to do oh Long spot. All right, there we go. So we're gonna have an area like this. All right, like that. We have stone brick like this. Oh man, I love these stone brick blocks. They're just they're just the best. Oh, forgot glowstone. And all this glowstone that I have in my inventory is all just from the witch farm. <laughs> Five stacks. No, four stacks. Yep just over four stacks that's that's the greatest I might replace this with ice and figure something out with the lighting that's gonna be a real big challenge because how small this area is I don't think there's anything I can really do about the lighting I just nope oh, I just need to make sure that okay it doesn't get under mob spawn level let's check right here okay we're good no mobs can spawn in here. We just check all the corners. Yeah, we're good. That's our main concern. Alright, there we go. This is our squid tank. I don't know, I might change this to match up here. Yeah, I guess I can do that right now. Well, I guess the corner isn't necessary. Actually, there's obsidian here. So yeah, let me let me match this up exactly. Uh, we have the wool here conveniently <laughs> conveniently we have wool in our wool storage yep <laughs> okay we can just throw this right there because that's not going to be visible all right um we need gray so let's get gray there we go I'm just like one of the best people at improvising I'm so good at it. It's a skill. <laughs> okay, we need cyan, cyan, dark blue, and light blue. It's not too hard. Okay, let's put that back. We have the light blue. We need one cyan. Actually, we can put the light blue back. And one blue. There we go. I think the blue should be called like lapis or something. I don't know. I feel like it should have its own name instead of just blue. Oh, right here is going to need to be tweaked, too. So we need another piece of light. I think that should be it for the light. Oh, oops. I don't know what went wrong there. 
Alright, there we go. There we go. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Happy I did that instead. So now I just need three pieces of obsidian. And I also need to fill this with water. Solid blocks of water, by the way. So let me get the three pieces of obsidian. Let me see if I have it. Hope I do. It's going to be real fun getting that squid up here, I'll tell you that. Because <laughs> I have to watch out for those paintings, or not paintings, but picture frames. So it's going to be a real pain. Oh, I keep hitting screenshot by accident. Still getting used to the keyboard. Uh, I have to have obsidian somewhere in here. Where the hell's my obsidian? Mm-hmm. I don't know if I have any. Crap. Oh, here it is. Three. And I also want to take a book. Actually, let me see if I have ice. Because ice will make that a lot, a lot, a lot easier. You have no idea how much easier it would be. Nope. Guess I don't have ice. Crap. Actually, no. I do have ice. Yeah, here we go. Aha. I went on an ice spree not that long ago. <laughs> Oh man. Shears. Get the ice chompers. <laughs> oh man, I'm just the best with these names. The shovel is called the dirt slapper. <laughs> oh man, that's so funny. <laughs> oh man, dirt slapper. I should have made it dirt slapper 9000, but that's, the 9000 thing is like, I'm pretty sure it's a meme. I don't know. I don't know what that's from. The meme, nine thousand. I know there's over nine thousand, which is from a show. I think it's called Dragon Ball Z, something like that. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Not enough. Crap! And I put the buckets of water back. I I feel like a derp right now. I think the easiest way to get about. I'll go about getting a squid in here is to just break open the bottom here and let water go through and just lead them up. Simply just lead them up. So let me close that off for now. Actually, I'm going to have to go back in there either way. Oh man, it's like mob spawning paradise because how how well lit this whole caving system is underneath here. I think within the time frame of me creating this world and finding the witch hut, I'm pretty sure cave spawning has multiplied. Like, it got more intense. I think I needed six. Alright, six. There we go. Might as well just take some water buckets with me. Dang it. There we go. Alright. I wish the mouse clicking wasn't so loud. The keyboard sounds... The keyboard isn't too loud. The mouse clicking is pretty loud. I just hope it's not too loud in the video. I mean, I'm wearing headphones. I always wear headphones when I record Minecraft. Well, most of the time at least. <laughs> and I heard it and it didn't sound too terribly loud. So that's not too big of a deal. And I don't really have to worry about breaking these because they will just melt on their own. Oh, the other ones will. And the reason I'm using full blocks is so... The squid can free swim, swim freely, not free swimly. <laughs> oh man. And you never thought you could feel more derpy. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Alright. Oh wow. That is such a weird look. I thought there was water right here for a second there. <laughs> Alright, uh, looks good. We just need to wait for that to melt, but that'll that'll melt on its own time. All right, so now, hmm, I have efficiency five on these, by the way, <laughs> which isn't necessary. Oh crap! What was that? Okay, there we go. Oh, it does work. Okay, efficiency five does work. Who knew? Oh crap! I'm gonna have to remember that pattern, aren't I? Uh-oh. Oh, wow. What is up with this lag? Alright, let's take that. Let's break that. 
There we go. I don't want to have the water flow all the way in here because that's just going to knock out my item frames. Alright. Let's jump down here. Collect our goodies. Uh oh. We don't want that. The mobs are going to be swimming up here like crazy. I am planning on putting a beacon here, by the way. Uh oh. No, 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 whoa. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> a zombie went flying. Oh, he's going after the skelly now. <laughs> I have to replay that and and such. I I have to replay that in slow motion. I'm, I'm going to. Because <laughs> that's just too funny. Oh, man. <laughs> I hope I remember to edit that part. I did stop the recording real quick just so I know where it's at. If you saw a little cut. It's probably, you probably didn't see it because it's very hard to spot a small cut like that. <sighs> Stupid creepers. Oh. Alright, there we go. Get out of my face! Stupid spider. Actually, I'm, I'm going to keep the string, get rid of the flesh, uh, fence post I'm actually going to put back. <sighs> Stupid creepers. Oh yeah, that's right. I lit this up. Mm-hmm. Should be one more piece. I don't know why I'm collecting the wool if it's not that important. <laughs> It really is not that important because I have mass quantities of it. <laughs> I'm just that cheap. That's how cheap I am. Yep, I'm just gonna go back up. You know what? And the pearls for the win. And the pearls for the win! Alright, let's check around. No, I don't see anything else. Dang creepers. That's a fence. Yeah, it's the rest of the fence. Alright, so now let's get a squid. This is going to be fun. I'm going to put water here. Not not that much of a derp. Let's find ourselves a squid. Oh, they're they're going to play this game. The, the never spawn game. Okay, good. I have respiration on this. One lonely squid. Look at him. Let's, let's get him. Yes! Come with me to your new home. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I hope he doesn't suffocate. Come on, come on, buddy. Maybe if I just. Oh crap, the lead broke. I didn't think this through very good. Come here. Back here! Stop running from me! Okay. Come on. Come on, friend. 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 Come up here. Come up here, friend. I don't want to have to kill you. I don't want to harm you. <laughs> Come on, friend. Is he seriously going to be like this? Alright, I have an idea. Aha! My idea worked. Uh oh. He's gonna start taking damage any second here. <laughs> He's just going crazy! <laughs> Alright, I should get air before I go in here. Okay, come on. Come on, friend. <laughs> Oh man, this is this is the best. Oh man, get in here. Come on. Friend. Come up here. Maybe maybe if I do this. Oh crap. Okay, how's about if I do that? I'll force you to come up here. Come on. 
Don't be don't be shy now. He's gonna be this kind of squid, isn't he? Okay, come on. Come on. Uh, ah. <laughs> oh man, this is so funny. <laughs> Okay, what if I do this? Come on. Come up here. Uh oh. Oh, I thought the lead broke. <laughs> if he hits the ground, he's gonna die, by the way. Oh, lag. Random lag spikes. I don't know what's up with that. Oh, there's glowstone there. That's why I can't get up. Ha! Huh, I wonder why I couldn't get up. Okay. There we go. Okay, this glowstone is in the way. Come on. Come on, Mr. Squid. Stop stop being a jerk. Oh my god, this squid. <laughs> okay, what if I break this? Now I can see what I'm doing. Oh, he's in. Okay. Uh, come over here. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. He's he's going to be this kind of squid, isn't he? Stop running. <laughs> he's running. Look at him. He hates me. <laughs> They need it. They need it so you can reel in the, the leads or something. I don't know. That would be really, really helpful. Now, how am I gonna do this? Okay, I need to figure out which wool was where. That's that's a problem. If only I had a fence post on me. All right, for now. I guess I'll just put this right here. I ah crap! I don't remember which wool was here. Oh, forgot to unlead him. Oh, I also forgot to name him. <laughs> there we go. Oh, look at that. Rapture squid. He better not die. You better not die, Mr. Squid. You're going to be a pain in the butt. Okay, there we go. I believe it was like this. Okay, it's two. There we go. Much better. Alright, so now we can go down here. Ah, crap. Okay, let's just put that back. That back. Where'd he go? Aha! We captured ya. <laughs> we got our own squid. Our own pet squid. <laughs> oh man, that's, that's the best. Wait a minute. Oh. Confused there. Alright, there we go. Alright, I'll be right back when I check what, what wool was where. I think I have all the wool now, now that I look at it. But anyways, I'll be right back and I'm going to make sure I put these in the right spots. Alright, I'm back and I figured it out. Okay, the light blue was right here. Oh, come on! You jerk. You frickin' turd. Stop. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this quick. So light blue was right here. Like right where I put it. Dark one was right here. And the cyan was... I just wanna make sure he's not right there. Okay, good. You, you best be staying over there, buddy. Aha! There. It's all repaired. Well, I guess not necessarily, because it... Was this light blue? It better have been. <laughs> oh, crap. Which one was which? Darn it! 
<laughs> uh, okay, now I'm going to have to figure that out. All right, there we go. Got our water back. I'm pretty sure the gray wool is right, right there. You see his legs glitching through. That's funny. <laughs> you can see him glitching through it. That That's the best. I think it was like that. Yeah. Oh, man. Hello, Rapture Squid. I'm just calling... I'm just going to call him RS. <laughs> and we have the book right here. The Rapture Squid book. I thought you are supposed to be able to see the text. No? You know, I'm curious. I wondered this for a while. Once anvils came out and books, written books, finally beacons went. Alright, I'm going to check this. Can you rename a book? Oh, you can. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let me try this. Oh, that's nine. How about now? Does does the name show up in the item frame now? I saw something. No. Well, I'm going to have to fix that off camera. Because it's at the end of the episode. It's gone on for longer than I would have liked it to. <laughs> Derping around with the squid. Took like a good 20 minutes. <laughs> oh man. I hope you guys don't mind the 40 minute episode. I know a lot of people like longer episodes. Oh, man. But anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. I uh, just want to put this out there real quick. I have de downgraded from the snapshot because there were problems. I got my villagers back. Don't worry about it. Uh, I think I showed this. No, the last episode was when I did the snapshot, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, my villagers are back. They're safe. I am going to have to remove this carpet and put a slab here instead. I'm, well, I might have to. It's not a have to thing, but I, I might have to because when the baby zombies get fixed, their hitbox, they're going to be one block tall, and I think, I think they should be able to fit through here. They can also jump right through here. So, yeah, that's a problem. But um, I am going to work on the witch farm a lot more, the Wither Skelly farm, and all of that stuff around the base off camera. So, it should be different in the next episode track was for the villagers but i hope you guys have enjoyed the episode if you have a uh, like would be very appreciated very much appreciated i finished this top part um don't forget to subscribe if you're new zombies and comment if you have any ideas suggestions and so on and so forth and yeah i'll see you guys in the next episode Please like the video and help me get better noticed on YouTube and I'll see you guys in the next episode.